What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So I think I finally found the way to stop the trespassers. Since we got the gates installed, got the fences installed, of course we haven't had any vehicles drive through. The fence is still up and as you can see, it's all painted. Now of course someone could walk in there if they wanted to, but I got something in my pocket that is going to put the finishing touches on the gate. We got a lock that I'm going to try out, but I wanted to show you guys, I'm down here at the uh, lake property, I wanted to show you guys the finished product of the fence. It's all primered and painted now and i uh, got the gates done and then I'm gonna go head down to the rock cabin show you guys a little update on that um, this is super exciting but most of all we finally figured out how to keep the trespassers out so made a couple videos over this and uh, got a lot of people leaving comments saying why don't you just put up signs look at this I don't know about you guys but uh, I can read that perfectly fine and it's right here at our entryway as you can see we got a couple more out and about around but guess what the signs don't do anything so uh i got on amazon and i started reading some reviews and stuff over some locks and this is, this is the latch you know this is how it works you want it open you just put it over there you put, it, you put it there and you put a lock in there i got a lock in my pocket we're going to try out in just a second but first, let me let you guys kind of uh, take a little glance at the fence. Uh, came down here and got it painted. It is painted a high gloss black. It is an industrial paint made by Anchor. It's like 80 bucks a gallon. Um, it just took just over one gallon to paint uh, 155 feet of this fence, three rail pipe fence with the gate. Um, so I told you guys I put my family through a pretty bad danger coming down here in the middle of the day. We're trying to primer it all this. We got it done, but it was it was bad. Everybody got sick, got headaches because of the heat. Well, I got a little smarter the next time me and dad came down here and uh, I bought a like a $40 paint sprayer off of Amazon. Brought my little air compressor, brought one of the power banks down here powered it up and that thing worked like a charm it was way faster and it looked a lot better the only bad thing is while we were painting it it was really windy that day i had it all over my face and stuff but this road i just mowed a couple days before and i had grass clippings and stuff everywhere this road is a blacktop but it gets kind of dusty um the only thing is this paint stayed really wet for a long time and as people drove by you can kind of see it got a little bit of dust on it while it was still wet. But it's not going to hurt anything. It's a really good paint. So hopefully it'll hold up. But I love how it turned out. I am, uh, I'm very happy that we went with the black paint because it looks pretty good. But just kind of show you guys a little bit of a close up. And my nephew custom made and welded these gates. These are two 10 foot gates. I think they turned out awesome. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I got in my pocket here. Let me set this camera up. All right guys, so I got on Amazon and I found this lock right here. This is a whole different kind of lock that I've ever used. And the key is way different as well. Now, it did come with five keys, but the only thing is, I don't know how to get any more of these keys because this is gonna be locked all the time and I know we're gonna have family and friends that's gonna come, wanna come down here. And uh, instead of putting a lock on here that has like a combination code or whatever, I wanted to go with a locked one so I don't know if this thing is gonna work or not it has a 3 8 inch uh, bolt Make sure. you gotta have the key in it to lock it back locked all right looky there that is a that's a good lock it's stainless steel it's not gonna rust so, this bolt goes through this uh, whatever you call this, this bolt receiver, I guess, uh, far enough that you're not going to be able to push this thing open. So this thing's going to work out all right, I think. But the only bad thing is I only got five keys, so I'm kind of limited. Um, like I said, this type of key, I don't think you can just go make copies of it. I don't know 
I guess I might have to be uh, picky and choosy on who all gets a key to it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you guys ever seen a key like this? This isn't a normal key. It's like a uh, really thick key. And I don't think you can just go get a copy made. Anyways, we'll... Uh, We'll have to figure that out later. Um, what do you guys recommend? Um, say that you have a family that you are going to allow to come down here and you got some friends and stuff that's gonna come down here. Uh, would it be better to just put a combination lock on there that has a code or just get a uh, lock that has just regular like master keys that you can change or you can uh, copy all the keys, however many you need, like at Walmart or whatever. Um, this type of key, I know Walmart isn't going to copy that. They don't have any keys like that in stock to even match it. So, kind of limited on what we can do. So, anyways, leave a comment down below. What would you guys do? I might send this lock back to Amazon and just get one with a code on it. That way, if someone's in town or something and I'm not around and they want to come down here and uh, use the dock or come check out the uh, water property, I can just tell them the code over the phone. Or will that be more of a burden? I don't know. Anyways, I got something down at the lake. I want to show you the dock is completely done now. They got the deck done. I think you guys will enjoy this. Okay. So we're up here. Um, I got a few projects I want to talk about before we leave. But let's go down here and I want to show you guys something. Look what we brought down here yesterday. Look at that. The kayak and the canoe are down here at the dock. We have a blast with those out here. Um, as you guys know, we can uh, get in the kayak and the canoe. We can actually go up the creek if you guys know some of our past videos i don't think we've done any this year down at the creek property that creek actually joins into this lake right where we're at and uh, we can take these kayaks and these canoes right up the creek and enjoy that nice crystal clear cold 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 water all right so i'm fixing to show you guys the deck and yesterday rachel and i actually went to some antique shops and found something to put on the deck so look at this There is the composite decking. I don't know how wide this is. I haven't measured it. I think it's like eight feet. But they got it all on. It's like a grayish, brownish. It kind of matches everything else. But the best of all, it matches the natural native rock that they used to build this cabin over a hundred years ago. Look what Rachel found. She actually found this on Facebook, but it was at a local um, antique place. Uh, pretty nice little seats. They don't have any cushions on them right now, but how cool would it be just to be out here, be able to come out here early in the morning or late in the evening, drink some coffee, and just watch the wildlife, watch the boats go by, watch the water, whatever. Pretty cool. So I don't know about the dark green yet. Um, it's just spray painted. You guys can see that. But this is an older set of chairs and just a little table here. But uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about the green? Does it go with with all this setup or do we need to like spray paint it brown uh, or black i don't really want to do gray because we got a lot of gray now i think if we do brown kind of match the uh roof of the cabin match some of the rock stuff like that i don't know that is what it is but uh let's walk out on out here I'll show you guys a little more of the dock so like i said if you guys didn't catch the last video, this walkway is 80 feet long, which is quite a far ways, but if it wasn't this long, the ramp would be way steeper, and that wouldn't be no fun coming up and down. So that's not too bad like it is. Here's a look, it's going back up. It's not bad. You got handrails on both sides, so even if you're a little bit slow, <coughs> slow at walking or not you know good on your feet you can just hold on to the rails and take your time so we're out here on the swim deck and i had the canoe and the uh kayak at the house just under the lean-to for like a whole year and it got some water in it from rain and stuff in it so we kind of we took the kayak out last night and just kind of went around here just enjoyed it it was awesome weather 
it wasn't too windy right here where we're at is a you know it's kind of a really nice place because that's all private land right there um, people can go down there and they can you know fish and stuff like that but it's state owned so you can't ever have a house or boat docks or anything else down there it does flood so um, you know it stays pretty quiet for the most part so last night we kind of enjoyed that you would just kayaking back and forth Kaya and Caleb got in the kayak and they played around. I did. I actually busted my elbow because I was trying to get out of the kayak. Rachel caught it on video on her phone. I may or may not insert it right here. It's kind of embarrassing. Don't start video. Quit. <laughs> okay, I'll quit. But anyways, um, what I was trying to say is this, this creek, this arm of the lake flows east and west. So the north and south winds is usually where you get your big waves. And as you can see, this part of the lake is pretty much protected um, way up there. That is a rock bluff. I'm going to zoom in. Don't fall in here. Let me zoom in and show you guys. If you guys been watching this for a year or so, I have a lot of videos from last uh, fall and winter when I was redoing this rock cabin, and uh, I have a lot of video footage of all this. But that is like 300 foot of just solid rock. So that blocks a lot of the wind down here. Now right now, the wind looks like it's kind of out of the west, but these ways ain't nothing. But with these concrete tiles, I got another question for you guys. These concrete tiles are 65 pounds each, and I think there's over a hundred of them. So it added like, uh, it added like, I don't know, six, seven thousand pounds. I can't remember how many there is exactly, but it really helps stabilize this dock. So when there's when it's real wavy, boats go by, or the the wind makes a lot of waves. This extra weight helps this thing stay stable. Now we are looking at adding um, a ladder. I'm gonna put a fish cleaning station somewhere on here. But my thing is, how do you, how do you guys think you can secure something? If I had something I wanted to bolt down right here, do you think the Tapcon concrete screws will hold stuff into these concrete tiles if I pre-drill it? Do you think it'll crack these tiles? Uh, what do you guys think? Do I need to go all the way through this and go through the steel underneath? as well and just put like a carriage bolt i don't know um that's what we're trying to figure out some of the uh seats and benches and the fish cleaning station and stuff like that they do have a mount that goes like right here but it also has one that goes up here so technically you're bolting into this wood which is no problem and you're bolting in up here but i just don't know if this is going to crack when we try to uh put some screw holes in it so I don't know, let's have to wait and see. Uh, hopefully, um, somebody watching our videos has a dock similar to this or has some kind of knowledge in these concrete tiles. I do not have any knowledge in them, never worked around them, but I don't want to damage them. I don't want to try to put screws in them and they just bust or crack or something like that. It looks like there might be a dead fish floating. What is that? Something right there. Looks like a big old fish. It might be a dead paddlefish or something. Not, not really sure. And if you guys caught uh, the last video, did you see that animal running around over there? And if you did, what do you think that animal was? I thought it was uh, like a mink or something like that. I haven't seen it again, but uh, I'm sure it'll be back. It's so, it can be so camouflaged in there that even if it's running back and forth, it's so quiet, you're probably not going to see it. So let's go back up here. I got another project that I'm fixing to do a video on. And I want to bring you guys along and show you. Last night we came down here and while I was out in the kayak, Kaya and Caleb were fishing. And Kaya found a bunch of perch that live underneath these big rocks right 
right here they every time she drop a bait down in there those uh perch would just come out and grab grab her bait it's a lot of fun down here that's some big old rocks right there that's fell in over time so another thing i need to do is i need to try to have a steel door made right here and we can use that as storage we can lock stuff up in there that'd be an awesome uh, place to store stuff i think so that's one thing i've got to do i've got to get some steps made that's going to be another project coming up um as you can see this right here is a lot lower than that there's no real good way to just walk down so i think what we'll do is we'll probably figure out a way to build some steps somehow or another right there to uh be able to safely get down right now we're just walking up this right here and when your feet's wet or it's a little bit muddy it gets a little bit slick so got the picnic table i've got some trees down here i've got to take out and uh the next project i might do in the next video in the next couple of days is trying to get these old implements out do you guys think i can get them out of these trees i already got the tractor kind of the tractor's not really in the way there's no trees in it it's it's all free and open i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i don't know if i'm gonna try to get it running if i'm just gonna scrap it or try to sell it i don't know yet that is a very very old tractor it was on the property whenever we bought it pretty cool but uh, I don't really have any use for it it's just kind of been sitting here for seems like a very very long time so anyways here's the problem and this is what we're gonna address in probably the next video you guys see these old farm implements has probably been sitting here for no telling how long 40 or 50 years they got these trees all going up in them and eventually these trees are gonna die um, you know there's three different kinds of trees growing all together right here so it's not a good thing i don't think i'll be able to save them the only one i think i'm going to be able to save is that one right there i think um there's a piece of metal that grows through all that root all the trunk so eventually these trees are going to die and even if i was able to rip this old implement out i think it's going to kill the trees so I think this is free. I should be able to grab a hold of this with the uh, grapple on the tractor and just kind of move it. That tree is a, uh, I think it's a white oak. Yeah, I think it's a white oak. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, I'll try to save that tree. But all these trees right here, I'll probably end up digging out. And then on over there, we'll probably uh, take some of those trees out as well. I don't know. So we got some kind of an animal that has lived here. I don't think it's been back in the last year or so. But that hole, I don't know if you guys can see this real well or not with this camera. But that hole goes way down in there. I don't know if it's skunks. I don't know if it's a groundhog. I don't know what it is. But it's got another one right here. So we might try to get this closed up. Whatever it is, made a big mess digging all these rocks up. This tree right here is a wild cherry tree, but is in very, very poor condition. I already cleaned up a big mess when we first bought this property. It was laying right here, and the top of this cherry tree fell out. It just kind of rotted out, storm knocked it down, whatever. So, I don't know if I'll leave this oak tree right there, but I'll probably take it out, and I'll probably try to push over that big cherry tree because you can see there it's just really damaged and it's just a matter of time before this falls so that'll probably be the next project um, these two trees right there are oak trees you can see this it's oak I'll probably leave those for now I don't know but uh that's gonna probably hopefully be in the next video we got some cooler weather in the mornings now it's been in the 60s almost every morning um, it's still getting up into the high 90s during the day so if i get down here early in the morning i think we can get um, a lot of work done these two trees right here are pecan trees and almost every tree you see on this property down here that's a grove of pecans 
and over the years these big storms and tornadoes has come through and they've taken them out like one or two every year so hopefully fingers crossed no more of these giant pecan trees are taken out but just in case I'm letting nature take its course and all the little squirrels that have been uh, taking the nuts and digging them in the ground these little saplings came up and I've just been mowing around them I've been leaving them because I want there to be pecan trees to be growing to replace any of the trees that uh, go because these trees, these giant mature pecan trees are over 100 years old and when trees get older and older and bigger, you know, they don't last forever. And then sometime in the next week or two, I hope to get the tractor down here and finally brush hog. Now that we got the gate and the fence up, I don't think we're going to have a huge problem with people trespassing. I am going to however I got signs up now I'm gonna get more no trespassing signs up and hopefully people get the idea if it's not your property don't don't walk around on it don't drive through it don't go exploring on it just uh, respect everybody else so anyways guys just wanted to make this quick video I'm gonna go back stick that lock on there and uh, I'll wait and read the comments when this video posts and see what you guys recommend on the uh, lock but I think I'll, what I'll probably do is go with a uh, combination lock with just a code I really don't know I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do stay tuned and I will update you guys with love you guys subscribe if you are not subscribed to the channel thank you so much for watching leave a comment down below and we'll see you next time